So how are you feeling about getting to sit down and actually talk with a former vice president who's running for president? Now we don't have a shower curtain liner. Are you doing anything for school right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that your horsey? Giddy up, horsey. So well, great job. Hey, pretty well. Fall up for trouble when I get down. It's a child that we do. Kendra had an art project she wanted to do with the kids using a shower curtain liner. So Jeremy was super nice and took it off the shower for me and put it in the washing machine, and I promptly forgot about it and just moved the whole load into the dryer, not even remembering that plastic melts. Shower liners are not supposed to be dried in a dryer. So this one got all melted and destroyed. And so now we can't do that art project, but also now we don't have a shower curtain liner. Oh well, you win some and you lose some. Milking time, Farmer Gibson called across the pasture. Clang, 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 clang. Thanks for reading to him. Yeah. Really scared. Janae pretended not to hear, but she couldn't help thinking that they were right. It's funny, some days I'm so motivated and some days I'm just not. Some days I just feel blah. I think it's very human to have your moods go up and down and today I'm feeling blah. So I decided that I should try actually getting ready for the day. So I got dressed, I did my hair and I put on makeup. This is a big deal guys. I think I've been in the same workout clothes for the last couple of days. So I'm hoping this will help my mood and kind of jumpstart me. But I'm also just trying to be really gentle with myself. Like it's totally okay to have blah days sometimes and we're just gonna keep swimming. So Janae and I sat down today. We're trying to learn two letters. This is the first letter of the alphabet. Janae, what's this letter called? Alphabet. An alphabet is called an A. What sound does an A make? The A says ah, the A says ah. Good job, so the A says ah, and Janae, what's this letter? Uh, I don't know. You do? That's the one for your name, what's it called? It's called a J. A J. For Janae. Janae. The J says J. The J says J. The J says J. The J says J. This J, she helped me write, and she put a roof on it, which I thought was really cool with a smiley face. So I use this whiteboard all the time. I actually don't know if I know how to homeschool without a whiteboard on hand. Oh, face. Add a face. We finally got TikTok. We're watching some of the Ballinger family. Yes, they're so funny. We have to make stuff. You want to try doing Let's this? Let's do the push-up one. Let's do their baby. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do for our first one, you guys? We have to finish our schoolwork first. There we go. I'm done. Well, Elise is having a really great math day. She started a new unit in math a couple of days ago. What are you learning about? Fractions. Yes. We love using this kind of paper when she's doing math because it just makes it easier to keep track of all the numbers that are floating around. Mm. All right, click check. Yay! Good work. So for Elise's math right now, we're kind of still finding a happy place for a curriculum with her. We've kind of floated around and tried some different things to see what would work. Um, what we found works best right now is we're using Khan Academy, but I'm doing a lot of it with her. I print up 
print off other worksheets and we do some hands-on manipulatives and we use the whiteboard a lot to practice. For some reason, doing stuff on the whiteboard is less intimidating than doing it on a piece of paper. It's magic. It is you magic. can see it in big blue colors instead of a pencil. And just as a little reminder, we have bad math days over here too. So if you're feeling discouraged about math today, totally normal. If you're discouraged about it as a student or as a teacher, totally normal. We have those days when Elise and I both want to pull our hair out and we have to take a break and go jump on the trampoline and find a reset button. So don't worry. We're just having a good math day today. So I had to document it. Do you know what it feels like to be discouraged in math? Mm -hmm. Especially cause like sometimes my brain doesn't want to learn math so I have to do something else. So even though we haven't really used the van for the last two weeks, except for one shopping trip, we decided to clean it up. We're gonna wash it too. We're gonna get wet. You got your swimsuit on, Nene? There's like a moldy cracker in here. Look! This is what happens when you don't open your van for a while. So like we've said before, here in Puerto Rico, we're not allowed to drive around. We're not allowed to drive around with our family or go anywhere. Only one person can drive to the store or the bank if needed. So this is our first drive for several weeks. We're you guys ready? Yeah. yeah! We're driving 25 feet. Here we go. We going? Well, we're there. We made it. Do you want to help me clean the van? No. Go scrub it down. Well, it is dirty. Three, two, one, it's jam. Hey. Janae, do you like washing a car? Yeah. It's my favorite. There might be bird poop way at the top. Yep. <laughs> Gotta scrub it all off. So, Janae, how do you clean a car? What do you do? Clean, clean, clean. We are washing our car all day. We are washing it all day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Caleb wanted to get wet. It's looking so much better. Did you ever jump on a trampoline with water? A lot. <laughs> Janae's having fun in the pool. You playing with your Barbie? Yeah, see my mom. This is your mom? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's nice of your mom to go swimming with you. Janae is racing her doll across the pool. Janae, who won? My mom. Oh, your mom did? She's a good swimmer. The van has had a minute to dry, and so the big kids and Jeremy are going to check out the van and see which spots they missed and how the car looks. What? Huge! Can we redo it? We're gonna have to. So there's the spot that did Whoa. not get washed. Okay, let's see. Can we figure out which spots we missed? The bottom. The bottom. And this whole part right here. Yep. Okay, so now we know where we need to fix. So just spraying it down won't clean it. So be really careful this time. Let's make sure to catch those spots that we missed. Man, I'm so glad that Jeremy had the kids come back and see the van afterwards. They could see the spots and learn about how we can improve for next time. Like the importance of really being thorough and getting the whole van. That was so cool to see. Thank you. Yeah. It's funny, it's been bothering me how dirty our car is, even though we haven't been driving it at all. It's because we see it every day. Yeah, it's just sitting there looking at us. What are you guys trying to do? Make I'm gonna make a third dance super quick. Trying to dam the water? Yep. All right, here we go. Elise. <laughs> Good job, Janae, help clean up. Looks like we got a package. Luckily the mailman showed up after the kids were all done playing out in the front yard. It's just crazy, like, even the mailman coming to drop off mail is like the only person we're interacting with who could have the virus and bring it into the home. I got new running shoes. My old ones are so old and they've been hurting my feet when I'm running. So it was time, but I bought them online, which it's just hard with things that you need to try on. How do they feel? They feel pretty good. I have really high arches, so it's really hard to 
support them enough? Isaac and I have a once in a lifetime opportunity right now. We got invited to sit on a town hall with just two other YouTube families and Joe Biden and his wife, Dr. Biden, and uh, Dr. Murthy, who's the foreman surgeon general. I've loved that this is a nonpartisan event. It's just to try to answer questions and we're really excited to get to sit down and talk. One other really cool surprise of this was that the moderator of the town hall was Michelle Kwan, who I grew up watching. She's an Olympic um, ice skater. So how are you feeling about getting to sit down and actually talk with a former vice president who's running for president and the former surgeon general? I love like politics, so it's so excited. I'm so excited to like be able to talk to him. And Are you a little nervous? A little. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make sure to share some of our conversation here, but to listen to the full town hall, we'll put a link in the iCard and in the description box. Next, I'd like to turn it over to Jeremy and Isaac of J House Logs, who also have a couple of questions. We know we should wash our hands and stay home, but what other advice would you give to people going through this right now? First of all, make sure when you're outside, even in the yard, with if any of the kids come up or around, just don't get too close. Number two, make sure that you, in fact, if you're going to sneeze, you don't just sneeze. You sneeze into your arm like I'm putting my hand up now. And number three, uh, you know, make sure you get rest. Don't get overtired. Vary your day a little bit, too, because you're probably doing some online stuff. Are you doing anything for school right now? Uh, yeah, I I am. Yeah. I'm doing all my like Spanish and math as well as like a lot of reading. So. Well, good for you, man. Mrs. Biden's a school teacher, yeah. an educator, and uh, you just made her smile. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting exercise as well? What are you doing for exercise? Sometimes we like bike a little bit or like we have a trampoline. So well, that's helpful. Uh -huh. well, oh, good. 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 Yeah, all of this really started hitting home for us. We got a call from my mom and my stepdad, who are in their 60s and 70s, and they told us that they were diagnosed with COVID-19. And that that started really getting me looking closer at the mortality rate, which seems there's a lot of conflicting information on that. And so I was wondering what your take is on what is the mortality rate and what medications or treatments would you recommend to help as people are getting this disease to give them the best chance? What movie are we watching? Onward. Our family had been trying to find a time to go to the theaters to see Onward right before everything happened with the coronavirus and quarantining and staying home. And so we were really excited that they released it early so we could watch it from home. Family movie night. Good night. Jay House out. You guys wanna come play? <laughs> 